What's going on, Olton here, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys and gals the best Streamlabs OBS settings for low end and good computers in 2021. I'm going to make this video as simple as possible and get straight to the point, so let's get started. Also, first, we will be starting off with good computers. So, if you're here for the low end PC settings, you'll see the time that that starts right on the screen, so make sure to skip there. But let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is head straight over to the bottom left just click that cog it may also be somewhere else on your screen but just click it skip general skip stream and head straight to output so uh, like i said we're just gonna make this video as simple and as quick as possible so you guys can get streaming and grinding so let's get right into output mode make sure this is set to advanced it's much better than simple trust me audio track make sure this is set to whichever audio track you're receiving your audio through that is most likely track one encoder most of you that have a good computer are going to be wanting to use this one. I wouldn't recommend using software. If you're streaming games like Fortnite and other CPU intensive games, this is definitely going to be your best friend. Make sure this is checked off. Rate control, make sure to set that to CBR. And in terms of your bitrate, if you have over 15 upload, you can set this to 5,500 or just 6,000. But again, if you're not a Twitch partner, do not set this to anything above 6,000 just because, you know, you won't be able to actually stream through that. I have it set on 7.5 because I am a Twitch partner and it makes a huge, huge difference. But again, the best you can do is 6,000, especially if you're an affiliate. Keyframe interval, zero. Preset quality, I have that set on high. I don't have it on max. Just because I feel like it was a little bit too pixely at times, Profile, I have that set on high, look ahead checked off, psycho visual tuning check, GPU set to zero, and max B frame set to two. The next thing we're going to be doing is skipping audio and then heading over to video. Now, this is my custom resolution, which I actually found off another stream that I loved a lot. So 1920 by 1080, this is, you know, the default canvas resolution that everybody pretty much streams on. And this is where it changes a lot. So there's people that stream 720p. There's people that stream in, you know, 810, 1080. It changes quite a lot it changes quite a lot but the one i found that i really liked is 1664 by 936 definitely give this one a shot i've also tried 900p but this one has a bit of an edge over that one downscale filter length so sharp and scaling 32 samples fps type common fps values and common fps values set to 60. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to be getting into the best settings for low-end slash bad computers for Streamlabs OBS in 2021. So go to the bottom left, just click the settings cog, jump from general to stream straight to output, so just skip to set output mode to advanced audio track make sure this is on whichever track you're you know getting audio from a good way to check is by clicking there and you'll be able to see encoder this is your cpu hardware and vent is your graphics card i'm assuming since you know if you're watching this you probably don't have the best computer so i would recommend putting this to software this is what people have told me has given them better results so make sure to set this to software 264. Check in for streamer service encoder settings. Check rescale output and make sure your output resolution is 1280 by 720. I wouldn't recommend going below 540 just because if you're on 480, the stream just becomes really unenjoyable. The quality is poor and nobody really enjoys watching that. 540 is the lowest I would go, but this is the one I would recommend the most to all of you because it's actually quite enjoyable to watch and it's pretty good quality as well. Rate control, make sure this is set to CVR. There's a bunch of different options as well, but this is the one I would recommend for all of you. Bitrate, this is all up to your internet. Let's do a few examples. If you have five upload speed, I would recommend setting this to 2,500, not even going above. If you have above 10 upload speed, I would set this to 3,000 to 4,000. So you choose and you can actually experiment yourselves by recording and seeing what the bitrate looks like. But again, I wouldn't recommend going above 4,000 if you do indeed have a low end PC. So make sure to give 3.5K a shot for the first time. Use custom buffer size checked off, keyframe interval, zero. CPU usage preset, very fast. Either super fast or very fast, but very fast in the most cases should be better for you. Pro Profile set to main instead of high and tune you don't really need to set anything at all and again this setting don't let it distract you you can just leave that completely blank and nothing will happen once you've copied all of these settings right here head over to video 
Base canvas resolution, 1920 by 1080. Again, I would not recommend changing this one at all. And then this is where it gets interesting. Output scaled resolution. So there's many, many different options. And since, you know, you're looking at a low end, or sorry, best settings for low end PCs, I wouldn't recommend touching any of these whatsoever. If you are and you have a good computer, then you can watch the first half of the video. But if you're here for the low end settings, do not use any of these options. The max you want to be using is 720p, but these are also good options. These two, I would say, are the best. And then, you know, slowly once you start going down, the quality, you know, gets worse. So 1280 by 720 is what I would recommend. And again, try this out yourselves and see how it looks if it's too pixely and you know your game just can't run at all on your stream then make sure you lower it and then see how it goes from there that should definitely help downscale filter by cubic sharpen scaling 16 samples do not put it on a billionaire or lanxos this is just the perfect one for you fps type common fps values and again this is up to you guys to experiment with. 60 FPS might be too much, so definitely give a shot to 48 and 59.94. But if you see that your PC or laptop can run 60, then I would definitely, definitely recommend using it as it will give your viewers a better experience. But apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, I really do hope that this video helps you out. I wish you guys the best of luck in your streams, and I hope your streams look absolutely amazing. If you have any questions about your settings, or if I have any recommendations, please make sure to drop a comment below. I also stream on Twitch daily, so feel free to ask me anything over there. But apart from that, have a wonderful rest of your day.